So this machine actually had a bobbin winder, automatic bobbin winder on the machine. You don't need, usually you have a bobbin winder on the side, on the side here, but right now we don't need to install that because the machine comes with a built-in bobbin winder. Next step is that in the, your, some of the accessories come. This is this th thread guide and you have the screws that come with it. Every one, every item that you receive in the bag, you receive the screw. So this is where the thread guide will go. And we tie it and we come back for the next step. Just show so me. the next step is putting on the tension. That's the mini tiny tension. And this one is the one for the bobbin winder right here. Let me go around you so people could see. The mini tension, again, all the screws, if you open the bag, don't open all the bags together, please. One step at a time, everything comes together here. This is the tension guide that goes in the front. Mini one is for this bobbin winder. Now we're going to go ahead and put on the uh, belt cover. And the belt cover has two pieces. And excuse the tight, um, here. You have, we just put in that screw, the a screw rod, I call it, right here. It has to go all the way in. And you actually could tie it from here. Okay, actually the that rod goes to the higher screw. There is one, two to the third one on top and you tie it. That's it. See, and here, also on top, is going to be together. And you have two larger screws for the bottom. And we're going to go ahead and tie it, and we're going to come back. And on the top, you have the tiny screw. I mean, this all comes in a bag again with the same accessories for the belt cover and put it on. There is another one for here. Let's see which one goes that one. That's it. All the screw, the screws are there. All these places that you see while we're tightening the belt cover, you see this area that is red? You could just drop in oil in there, actually. The oil goes in here, and this is the oil gauge that pumps the oil, and you see. But other than these couple of places that had red uh, paint, these are the places that you drop oil. So now we're going to put the belt, belt protection cover and this is somewhere that you could do it yourself and um, we're using, we have a bunch of screws here, but we're using our own wood screw that works better with the drill. Um, again, the setup for the table was the same as any other table, only, you see, you gotta make sure when you're coming back. Okay, right there, you see you come up, and then right when you stop the, um, I'm gonna hold it for mm -hmm. you too. And again, do you know this is the headrest pin? And the screws, the holes for the motor is, in, is there, all the holes are there, uh, for you guys when you receive the machine. We come back and we're gonna do the rest of the assembly. 
you also get a bottle of oil in there and the thread stand. And I we already done a bunch of thread stand assembly, but it's uh, we're gonna show it to you again. Okay, so first step, put in the rod, you get bunch of washers going in the bottom. The hole for the thread stand is there. You tie the bottom, tie it really good, and we do it. And then, very quickly, this is very easy. You have the These are where, here you go. These are for the arm. This machine is gonna have uh, two. Two and one for the bobbin winder. A 516 wrench. Are we using the power? Um, this machine could do very, 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 very heavy thread, very heavy sewing. So, this one goes right here, the bottom one. That's it. And this is gonna be the, the other one. Actually it has four but you actually need three of them. You probably. And while we're doing that, I want to show you that these are extra large bobbin. These are not M bobbin. These are bigger than M bobbin. See, top load, both sides obviously. If I could open this side, which I can't, I have one hand. Sorry, can you open this for me? The wow, here you go. Look at these bobbins. Two extra large bobbins. These are one of the biggest bobbins that there is. And they're top load. Okay, now Wait. this one goes right here. And we're gonna put that on. And it's gonna be good to go. Next step is adding the extra pull on top. You tie that. And this is the thread guide right there. So the thread sits here. This plate sits here, obviously. And the thread goes from the top. That's it. Done, you just put the plate in there, put the padding on top. And better be, and you are done. We'll come back and we do the next step. Here is your thread stand. 